Well, it's a, it's kind of like you have this life timeline, right? Mm -hmm. And at any point of that timeline, you're supposed to be in a specific spot. That's mm -hmm. what society says, mm -hmm. right? So when you're a teenager, you're supposed to be getting ready for college. You're supposed to be getting good grades. You're mm -hmm. supposed to be learning about life. Um, and then in your 20s, you're supposed to be partying and drinking. You're supposed to have had at least one relationship. You know, you're supposed to be looking forward to having like a great career, which happens when you're 30. Mm -hmm. When you're 30, you should probably be married, looking into having kids. You should have a great career. I think that's even worse as a female. It's a, exactly people, for you. People, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot. I, every single day I get asked the question, oh, Rob, you're getting older. Are you thinking about having kids? You know, a big part of what sparked this whole conversation um, but I think you get it in every, you know, every area of our lives. You're expected to have kids. You're expected to do a certain job because a family member did it or not do it because they did that. How many times a week do you think we get asked when we're getting married or having kids? If I had a dollar for every time, <laughs> I would be so rich. Can someone pay us a dollar every time they ask us that? Please? No, honestly, guys, not being dramatic hundreds of times a week. It comes up in comments or messages, emails between the two of us. It's a lot. And a really interesting thing that you, I've, I've spoken about it before. I was in a, um, a very serious relationship for a very long time. I was actually married, my childhood sweetheart. Obviously that did not end well at all. Um, but Alex, many of you may not know, was actually married as well. I was married as well, believe it or not. Not to me. Uh, not to Robbie. Um, when I was 19, I actually got married. Um, you know, I had a really great relationship with this girl and she was she was great. We mm -hmm. thought we were obviously when we got married, you know, the goal was to be married and together forever and have kids um, ended up not working out. I mean, when you get married at 19 at the time, obviously, you know, you don't think it, but you are very young. I was very young. I was a completely mm -hmm. different person when I was 19. So you know, different. That, I'm 34 now. It's 15 years ago. I was a different person when I was 25. I was a different person when I was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. So you do change a lot. And in my situation, it was a little bit different from yours, right? Because you, you, know, you can talk about it, but you had a pretty tough divorce. It, it was, it was, it was really... difficult, but mine, it, it obviously, what is you, trauma? <laughs> yeah, obviously my, every divorce is tough, right? Let's, let's be honest I think here. Every breakup is tough. Every, yeah. It's like you're, me, you're mourning the loss of something. So I think even if it ends for a bad reason, or if you end on good terms, I still think, you know, the heartbreak is still there. It's know? still there for sure. So it, it was difficult. Um, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, I still think she's a great person. Mm -hmm. I hope she's doing well. There's yeah. no ill you know I, I like i just really hope she's doing See, well this is maturity happy. this is what maturity and, is and uh, you know i think she got married you know great i'm so happy for her and, and I, I hope she's super happy so it's it's a little bit different mm -hmm. you know um but it kind of comes back to that idea of oh we should be married by now you're 34 mm -hmm. you've been dating for three years you should be proposing um i've been married you know, I've, I've, I've been through it and it didn't work out that one time. And now I, I learned my lesson. It's like, there's no rush. We can mm -hmm. take our time. We can learn about each other. We can go about our day and live together and learn as much as possible about each other. And there's no rush. And mm -hmm. Robbie and I, the good thing about it is that we are so communicative. We talk to each other all the time about our goals family goals, you know, getting married, like our business goals, we share everything. And I think that's what makes it extra special mm -hmm. is there's no pressure because we know where we are in our lives and there's no pressure from me. There's no pressure from her, which I really appreciate. And we're just having a great I feel like there's even less pressure time. from me. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm like still a little more too. Robbie, how much of a great time are we having right now as I'm, a I'm, couple who doesn't have any kids who, uh, you know, I'm in my thirties, mm -hmm. like, my career is going well. Thankfully, things are going well. Your career is going mm -hmm. so well. How much fun are we having? We can literally pick up our bags right now mm -hmm. and go anywhere we want. And that's incredible. 